calluses. As you know, calluses are built to protect your, your, your body from having pain. Because as we age, we lose padding here because uh, of the lack of circulation to this area. There's a lot of the padding, the fat pad that was there is, is slowly going away. And because of that, these bones become more prominent and then you're building the calluses faster that way. Okay, hi Vicky. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, thank you for allowing us to film you today. <laughs> Vicky is a very old time patient of mine. We've been, we've gone, we go back pretty far, right? So, oh, yes. yes, yes. And she gets these very bad calluses here, here, here. These are really thick, huh? Yeah. And it's only been like a, like a month. month. Yeah, so it grows very quickly. It's a good thing. It's, it's trying to protect your foot. As you all know, the calluses are there to protect your body, to give you less pain, but when it grows, it becomes painful too. So it's, your body's trying to help you, but in, in process, uh, you're having pain as well. So I'm gonna take care of all the calluses. I'm gonna do the nails afterward, but we'll just show you the calluses. As you know, calluses are built to protect your, your, your body from having pain. Because as we age, we lose padding here because uh, of the lack of circulation to this area. There's a lot of the padding, the fat pad that was there is, is slowly going away. And because of that, these bones become more prominent and then you're building the calluses faster that way. Okay, so let's, let's start from here. So how's everything? Fine, otherwise. Yeah. yeah. So how how's your community that you live in? Uh, oh, they're good. Everybody's okay? Everybody's, as far as I know. They're not that sick? I haven't heard of anybody. Being oh, really? Sick. Oh, that's good. And there's over 9,000 in me. Oh, wow, really? And you know, you, you moved there like what? Uh, I, it's, yeah, in May, I'll be there three years. Oh, three years already? Wow. Already. <laughs> we were just talking about you moving. I know. I know, it's been three years already, wow. So, and uh, I walk you, every you, day. You walk every day? At least three times. At least three times. Everybody's uh, exercising and walking? Well, uh, people that have dogs are walking their dogs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, you got to know all your neighbors? I got to know most of them. Oh, okay, so you know how they're doing and everything, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's a senior community. It's a very nice community. I've been there before. It is, but yeah. if all the amenities are closed right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, huh? I wanted to move there when I turned, what, 55, right? Right. So I'm actually, I qualify now, as you know. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a senior now. You're a senior. Well, yeah, you're... yeah, I qualify, so I may get a place there. Well, you know what? And hang out with you guys. Yeah, exactly. And there is a, you know, the medical... Uh, facility? Facility. They have all kinds of doctors in there, too. Right, right. Are, are they closed, too? Or are they no, open? no, no, they're open. Oh, they're open. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're open. Okay. So maybe you can be... Uh, I think there's a foot doctor there. There is. Yeah, yeah. But I've never, you know... You've never been there. I don't you know you come all the way to see me here, though, right? Pardon me? You come all the way to see me here. Yes, I do. You could have gone right to him, right there next door to him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, they make house calls. Oh, is that right? Wow, that's even more convenient. Exactly. Wow. But I choose to come to you. You choose to come to me. Yeah, we, we, we chat about a lot of things, right, don't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. From, so, a, from a to Z. A to Z, right? So let, let's talk about a little, uh, I know you're into health and you, you look great and you've always been very healthy and very pleasant person. So what, what, uh, what are you doing to build your immune system now with this uh, virus going around? What, are you doing anything different? Are you taking more different kind of supplements or? No, uh, the only thing is I have arthritis and so uh -huh. my doctor told me, she says you can take uh, uh, the medication I was taking uh, was affecting other areas so I had to stop it. Oh, is that right? Okay. So I'm just taking turmeric from over the counter. Oh, okay, turmeric's very good. Yeah, okay. and I'm just taking one a, one a day. One a day? Uh -huh. one, one capsule? One capsule. Oh, I say you up that. You think so? Yes, uh, there's a lot of medical journal articles touting the effectiveness of turmeric uh, for anti-inflammatory, you know. And, and it, does. it yeah. seems like it helps with that one, so if I take two, it'll even be better. Right, well, I take a whole scoop myself every day. I take a lot of supplements, but turmeric is really good for anti-inflammatory effect and other things as well. And 
gives energy and other things as well. But well, I need energy. <laughs> but uh, they found out through the medical journal studies that there's no really upper limit as to how much you can take turmeric. In other words, I would like you to experiment to see, start Correct. start Correct. upping the uh, dosages and see if it helps you more. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. So there's. I can. I can, I can take maybe. Uh, I can maybe take three. One. One. Morning, noon, and night. I can yeah. Take. Yeah. I. I would definitely try that, especially if you're suffering about the arthritis well, and yeah, I have inflammation. Arthritis in the, my fingers and all. Right. Right. I would definitely recommend it. One of the things that I really recommend for arthritis is collagen supplement, okay? What is it? Collagen. It's part of the protein, you know, collagen. Collagen is, um, you know, that thick stuff when you when you eat like a... Like oh, a chicken? Yeah, like, like chicken broth and uh -huh. things like that, that gelatinous material that's coming out of the bones. Uh -huh. Those are collagen. You either take the collagen supplement uh, they come in powder or capsules, or you can make like chicken soup or bone broth soup, other like beef or even fish. When you do that, when you boil it for many hours, all the minerals come out of it along with collagen. Because people think, you know, you know, the bones are just made of calcium, but it's not. It's mostly collagen, you see, oh. and it also makes up the um, uh, cartilage and the okay. either ends of the bones, which uh -huh. is where your problem is, right? Yeah. So it is absolute necessity that uh, people need to supplement uh, collagen or bone broth soup. Well, I can do. Um, I can buy some uh, pieces of chicken and make some soup. Ex absolutely. I, I would recommend even doing it daily, especially if you have, um, you know, arthritis issue, because it reproduces all the bones all the minerals and then also the inside the uh, the cartilage that are on the either ends of the bones right which is where right. your problems are so i highly recommend you doing that okay and then you have to take all the minerals that go along with it like magnesium and boron and all of that is already in the uh, bone broth you see oh, okay. when you boil it all that uh, stuff comes out of the bones right mm -hmm. so you can you know you can youtube it and find out all different recipes you can put different spices, you can even put turmeric in, in, into the whole mix, you know? Into the broth? Absolutely. And other like cinnamon, really, really good for diabetes and blood control and anti-inflammatory effect like cinnamon. Cinnamon is like one of the best herbs you can take. Yeah, well, I, I can put, I put cinnamon in my oatmeal in the morning. Okay, okay, yeah, you're already doing that, yeah. But you can use it on the bone broth too, so highly recommend for arthritis. In fact, I had a patient, it's kind of a funny story. I had a patient come in, he, he's a Chinese lady told me that she completely cured her arthritis of her knee. She was waiting to get a, a, a knee replacement. And then she ate those, you know, the chicken feet that the Chinese people eat. You know, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen that or not. They're, no, pretty, I they're pretty gross, I, I can't eat them, but my Chinese friends love them. She ate that every day and got completely better where she didn't have to have surgery. Really? Yeah, that's how important the collagen is, you see? Mm. That that we're not really talking about. So I highly recommend either collagen supplement or bone broth soup. Well, bone okay. broth, because then I can use the chicken. Uh, you know, I can piece the chicken and use it in my salad. Absolutely. Uh, so obviously, calcium and magnesium very important supplementation. But when you do the bone broth, it's all in, all in all, there. all in that uh, whole mix. Okay. Okay. So that'd be really, really good for your so, arthritis. So there problem. is a good story about chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Absolutely, that's what. That's why people, when they're sick, they they take chicken noodle soup and chicken soup, right? Uh huh. Because it has all the minerals and then it has the collagen, and it also helps the stomach issues. That because it coats the stomach. Um, with your covering of your stomach uh, cells, right? Uh -huh. It covers it nicely, so it helps with a lot of like autoimmune disease problem, like indigestion, acid reflux, all of well, those. I have are... acid reflux. Oh, you do? Uh -huh. Well, you need bone broth soup. <laughs> okay. Okay. When oh. you're on that acid reflux, you know what I do myself. I don't have it, but to prevent acid reflux and things like that, what I do is every morning I put a few drops of. Um, apple cider vinegar with about half cup of water and that's the first thing i do every morning apple cider vinegar. apple cider vinegar yes it has a good probiotics and it balances your ph of your gut where it reduces or eliminate the acid reflux
I know it's kind of counterintuitive because you got acid and then you're putting apple cider vinegar, which is very acidic, but that's what helps, okay? So I, I recommend people to start very slowly. Don't put a lot of apple cider vinegar. It's going to burn your stomach, right? right. <laughs> it's very strong. So start with a few drops. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm at about a tablespoon right now. I can put that much and it doesn't hurt my stomach, but you got to kind of work up to that, okay? I highly recommend for those who have acid reflux issues to try try that, but start very slow. Just a few drops to start, and then once you've started feeling okay, then then you could um, increase your yeah, uh, I, I amount I also of, have a high amount of hernia. Oh, you do, yeah. So that'll really help you. But start very slow, maybe one drop of apple cider vinegar. You know, you want you want an organic one, right? Like, like Bragg's. Mm -hmm. Is the is the uh, brand that I use is is an excellent product, and then um, start just maybe drop or two to begin with, and half a cup of water first thing in the morning. Warm water, or just regular. Uh, doesn't water? doesn't really matter. Maybe warms a little bit easier to to handle at least in the beginning, and then after that you slowly increase to a t you know tablespoon or even teaspoon, and then half a cup of water. Uh, try that every morning, and it will really help your digestion. It improves your gut lining and it also increased the number of good bacteria we call them probiotics so it, it's a really good combination approach with a bone broth soup and and also recommend um you know other other minerals as well but if you're doing bone broth i guess it's all part of that whole whole I thing I, I think i'll do the bone broth yeah yeah bone broth is tasty you know we koreans eat bone broth all the time so i eat it at least three times a week myself and then I, I supplement with the... Uh, can, can that bone, when you do the bone broth, can the bone broth be, uh, like say, if you have a lot, can you put in the refrigerator and then pull it out as you want it? Absolutely. So what I did when I was single, my sister used to do a bone broth soup, like in a big pot, mm -hmm. and then put them in a Ziploc bag, individual amount, so and put it in the freezer. Oh, and then I would come home from long days of working, you know, internship or residency, whatnot, and I'm a single guy and I love kimchi, right? Which is all good probiotics. So I would just put that in the little, little, um, you know, cooker and then just heat it up and then it's ready to go, you see? Mm -hmm. So you can put a Ziploc and then put it uh, in an individual little amount that you can, you can use and then just... Uh, freeze it. Yeah, freeze it and then you just defrost it and then you boil it up and then you put some, little bit of rice and then... Uh, Rice or and, or yeah, and then some kimchi for me, you know, some good probiotic stuff, and that there goes your meal, and I'm done in like ten minutes. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's a, it's an excellent way to be healthy and be really convenient. Yeah, my mother used to boil chicken a lot. A lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's an old tradition that's just not being done, and I think it's really gonna build your immune system. It's gonna really be helpful for your gut health, which improves your immune system since your gut has 70 percent of your immune system defense is in your gut so you need to get get your gut really healthy so as you can see there was a little corn over here but i took out all the calluses oh there's a little bit more here i'm gonna get sometimes on the side yeah where over here sometimes yeah no, i don't see it there not today so Hope you've benefit, uh, benefited from today's conversation about the arthritis and some of the other natural way to really improve your gut and arthritis and inflammation of the whole body with some good bone broth soup, right? right. <laughs> and some collagen supplements, okay? So thank you for allowing me to film you today. That's your session of getting the calluses down. And thank you, Vicki. You're welcome. Thank you.